Welcome to on-screen learning. Describe excess post-exercise oxygen consumption, EPOC. To understand something we call excess post-exercise oxygen consumption, EPOC, you first need to imagine a car that has just been parked on the roadside after driving for an extended period of time on the road. Would you dare touch this car's engine immediately after parking? No, you're not going to do that because the engine of the car would be too hot to touch. The engine of the car remains hot for some time after it has been turned off. The same thing happens with our bodies. When a person exercises for a prolonged period, chemical reactions occur in his body, anabolic and catabolic reactions, and the body's demand for oxygen and nutrients is increased. But when a person stops exercising, the metabolic reactions taking place in his body do not stop, just like the engine of the car, and your body keeps burning calories for some time. EPOC is the amount of oxygen that is required for bringing back your body to a normal state. When you go for a stroll and then stop, your breathing rate remains at a gentle rate while you have stopped. Now, think about what would happen if you ran as hard as you can for 60 seconds then stop. Does your breathing rate go back to a nice gentle state it was in while you were walking? Or does it remain high for a longer would of time after you stop running? Do you breathe deeper and hard even after you have stopped running? Have you ever heard of someone say, I need to get my breath back? This part of the recovery process is called oxygen debt. Oxygen debt is the amount of additional oxygen demanded by muscle tissue to oxidize lactic acid following activity. The body must proceed to breathe deeply once exercise has concluded in order to pay back the debt. This is also called the afterburn. One measure of a person's fitness is how swiftly breathing returns to normal after exercise has stopped. Two people run for 800 meters and finish at the same time. One person is fit and the other is unfit. The fitter person will have less oxygen debt while exercising, while the other will need a lot more oxygen to break down the lactic acid in their muscles. The fitter person returns to normal within seconds. The unfit person can take up to 48 hours. After a period of strenuous exercise that results in the liberation of ATP using an anaerobic energy system, the aerobic system of our body helps to replenish the ATP during the rest period. The longer an athlete engages in a strenuous exercise program, the greater will be the effect of EPOC. As a fitness professional, you need to be familiar with the impact of different types of exercise on an athlete's aerobic and anaerobic energy system and EPOC. It is necessary to consider EPOC while prescribing rest intervals during the exercise program. The graph shows the role EPOC plays in bringing a person's body back to a normal state after an exercise session. Summary, oxygen deficit, the difference between the oxygen uptake of the body at rest and during exercise. EPOC or oxygen debt is the quantity of oxygen needed to restore your body to its normal resting level of metabolic function called homeostasis. EPOC describes how your body can continue to use calories after exercise has stopped. EPOC, also called afterburn.